such a strong menace in the 1v1. Oh! Whoa! Oh. He wow. is going to go for the Teemo. Well, this didn't work out so well the last time we saw Teemo. In this 1v1 tournament, the fact that their wave control is very, very poor. Oh, it's gonna be oh. Nick. Yeah, White Lotus gonna go in for it. All the summoner spells are down. Crash and dying does trigger. Rend is there. Needs to move in for it. Gets oh. a piece. Massive Rend. Takes a tower shot. And there's the health relic. Carbon actually might be able to go oh. in for this. Needs the blind. Does get a ignite. Damage. damage is gone. Oh, he didn't oh. ignite. I don't think he was in range. Oh. Carbon again. <laughs> Almost <laughs> nearly. Does it. Nearly. But he's still got the ignite. Maybe that's why you start using the sentinels. Sentinel on the brush. Perhaps. Sweep her out of the. Uh, <laughs> The Teemo Mushrooms. Um, actually doesn't get rendered there. This might be it again. Does have the Ignite ready to go. Carbon taking a few too many spears. Ooh. Ren does get used, but the Relic's there for White Lotus. He knows. <laughs> he knows. He they does. both know. <laughs> <laughs> Level 5's are actually a good spike here. Fighting Duck are coming. Carbon needs to go in for but he's not in the Ignite range. Oh! Just pop it down. Is it going to be enough to damage White Lotus? He's so oh! low. Spear comes in to decimate Carbon. Oh, oh. Carbon's cheese almost pulls it out again. You can see White Lotus and the players shake hands, having a bit of a giggle. Carbon, <laughs> he knows what he's done. He's so close. I think he should be proud of that. I, I think, think so it was too. a stellar performance. I expected less extra mana. I don't really think it's all that viable. Sire, uh, by the way. Sire made that level 2 first. Certainly did, has a ton of magic resist as well. Speaking He's pretty much Orleans. going for the Seros strat. That Grasby on Dying Cost. <laughs> Did I just see that? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Well, I, I guess it it's thematic. Yes, <laughs> uh, maybe it was Sire that actually using it there. Again, a very popular Keystone Mastery in the 1v1s, but... The Karthus actual base AD sucks, so <laughs> you have to watch G4 trying to farm under the turret. And deny that Relic there as well. So G4 is actually going to get forced back here by the looks of things. Q might cancel, it does. Oh! And on CS does make this difficult. He's now kind of, as you can see, just taking away the range minions, shoving it in. Ooh. Now wants to Ooh. go aggressive. Good wall, actually going for the relic. Might be too much. So yeah, actually kiting well. Does get the relic. He, and the exhaust is down. So you're going to come in with the damage. He's also G4 trying to kite it out. And he the will Q. be OK. So it's going to try and land up. I don't oh. know if it's enough damage. Oh. 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 Such a powerful item. Very true. Ones. Oh, this could be it. Sayer. They get aggressed on great poke. You can see the Thunderlord's decree helping out as well. To shove Varus up, he'd be able to deal tower damage. <laughs> Not really gonna no. happen on oh. this. Sayer. Great jukes here as well. Q's gonna land in. Grass does trigger. He's dodging everything pretty much. Does have the ulti. Might use it. Goes in. Ulti oh. out. He's G4 coming. in trouble. The damage is down. Is this gonna be a kill? It is. First blood. And science has proven that yes. the card is passive is useless in a one v one. That's unfortunate. That also makes it way harder to use the requiem. Yeah. So, simply because the sustenance on the virus side, you don't want to pre-use it. It's hard to use it just standing there while virus hits you. Push a note. It is very easy for Nuru to interrupt it. You have the Polymorph, you have the Wild Growth as well. And then on top of that, Seras has the summon advantage. Ooh, gets the Relic. Nice steal there from Seras. We're going to eat a lot of damage for it. Level 5 doing that, Grass and Dying keeps Optimus somewhat healthy. I have no idea what just happened. Uh, yeah, Seras just used his heal. Just like, randomly. Uh-oh. I mean, he wants to maintain the health lead. I, is Seros going to go all in at level 6? So that he has his ultimate available as well? I mean, still not very effective to use it now. Yeah, so no one's got a lead right now, but again, Seros has brought it back. Slightly behind in experience, but we'll hit 7 now. Let's see, 50 minutes reached by Seros. Good culling! Up against the wall there, Seros eats a lot of damage as a result of that. Actually can burn through the shield right now, so as long as he doesn't take too much damage in response, look at Seros' mana. That's one of the key factors, because he's now itemizing AP, he can only use the shield and can't really output that much damage in response, but Optimus, same situation, very low mana, Ooh, good not relic do timing. too much. Just constantly getting it, the uh, the mana replenished, and it makes it so difficult. Optimus, every time he tries to trade, Ooh. oh, another Glitter Lance. It's all about the small things in this 1v1, it's very, very close. It's going back and forth, you got the push on one side, and you got the push on the other side. Where See now, these minions are very important under the turret. Seros, he's going to get quite a lot of them. Optimus, though, gets Polymorph. Smart play there from Seros. That's oh, a lot of damage, though. Oh, that hurts a Ooh. lot. Seros level 9 now. 
I think he's trying to win on CS, but this is going to be very tight. Optimus! I think he had a window there to go all in. Zeros does have his heal back, by the way. This is starting to get really tight. And the problem here is Optimus just isn't helped in almost any oh, situation by his summoners. He's going to like to burn it go, down, but Zeros actually does massive damage. I don't think he can go through the wild growth, especially not with an ignite. Oh, like, ignite down, Zeros! Might be looking for, and that might just be, even if it doesn't kill him, Optimus getting low, he will live, but Zeros... That's going to be it. The <laughs> only way Optimus can do it is somehow pushing up to the turret and avoiding all of the damage, but he can't do it. Look at it. He's not winning this all in. Zeros actually just completely bodying him here, and Optimus, he has to try something, but Zeros might even just kill him here. Damage is down, picks uh, Glitter Lance lands again, dodges that Q. He's trying to catch up on CS, it's getting close, but Zeros on his nine more minions, and that's pretty much all of them almost. Optimus is trying to be annoying at this point, I think. Oh my god, those oh, minions have got shredded. Two left, he has to go in, he gets Polly! You got be close! Coming oh. is down! Wild Breath is there though! Zeros does pop it! Optimus gonna try and make it work! He flashes it! He wants it! What oh, oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Beautiful! Oh. All Zeros had to do was wait! Yeah! Patience is a virtue. Certainly is, your mother. Today we learned. Oh. I am, I am amazed that Optimus had enough to outtrade Cirrus with the exhaust, with the ult running, with the shields, with everything that Cirrus had right there. Good timing. And just every single time Optimus threw out the culling, he was doing so much damage. But this is actually the most important 1v1 so far. I mean, yes. all of them are, are important, but this, if Kira wins this and gets to the next stage, the hopes of the CIS squad getting to uh, Los Angeles for All-Star is already sealed when they get to the finals. If, they, if, if Kira wins this whole tournament, they get yes. to that LA so, All-Star yes. event. Important to note, it has to be the whole yes, tournament. the whole tournament. The it whole can't tournament. just be this round. This is effectively That's a quarterfinal. But yes, he has to win everything here. This situation has to be produced to some Hollywood movie. Uh. This is <laughs> We're following Kira. Maybe we'll see some 15 HP down there. <laughs> Sick. I am excited. Well, Kindred Eye got the first two bands for Choo Choo's brand, Quinn. Uh, it's not the same blind. 523 Quinn changes. Lots of Quinn Woo! changes. We've got Lucian Lulu there as well. Kira just goes for the Caitlyn. Why oh, wouldn't you? Oh, yes. I want to see it. <laughs> Juju has to know he's playing Caitlyn. <laughs> Where Caitlyn just farms, Nunu Ooh. just farms. Ooh. Cassiopeia. Another trademark champion for Juju. Not quite his Zed, but he is strong on it. Juju still has the opportunity to make up for Nice juke forward there by Kira. Had the grasp passive ready to go as well. So much pressure on both players. We have Kira fighting for his whole nation, and Choo Choo's is doing the same. Carbon fell earlier. That's true. It's kind of understandable that Oceanic it makes Hope, level two will win! Ooh. No cleanse used by Kira. He is so patient with his summoners. Kira, very confident. He took down BRTT on this Caitlyn yesterday. Oh, Ooh. that juke! So good! Got the, the mind shot after as well. Wow. Yeah, Choo Choo's gonna have to recall by the looks of things here. Oh, ooh. He does have the flash room, so we can make some big plays, but he's so low on mana. Choo Choo's hits four, he has to go home. Health Relic also gonna get stolen away. Oh, Choo Choo's, he wants to go for it! Oh, oh no! <laughs> First blood as Kira reads it like a book. So smart from Kira, just knowing that the greedy play from Choo Choo's, he tried it already, staying in lane, waiting for the Relic, punishes it a second time. Man, good, good Kaelin play. It felt like, like a rat coming into like a mouse trap. <laughs> it has head just got chopped off. <laughs> Tried to go for the cheesy relic. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> and Kira again continuing to astound and impress with his 1v1 play. We talked about how crucial it was going to be for Kira to, you know, win and yeah. effectively win the tournament.